Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Catherine Sinclair with www.thescenway.net. I bring to you today the five Tibetan rites on the third week and the first day already. As promised, I wanted to read a few things from this fabulous book, uh, Ancient Secrets of the Fountain of Youth initially uh, written by Peter Kelder. Today we're going to go over very quick tips on how to get the best results in doing the five Tibetan rites. It says here that they recommend eat simply. What we call that is nutrition. We need to have proper nutrition. One of the easiest ways to gain proper nutrition and quickest ways as far as I know is to add green to your diet. Most people don't know what that means, but it means green veggies, kale, spinach, collards, mustard greens, and barley grass. And I find that barley grass or wheat grass in a powdered form is the quickest and easiest way to add the greens and the nutrition that we need into our diets. That alone will alkaline your body and begin youthing your system. Okay, number two, it says to combine foods sensibly. It does suggest that you do not add fruits to any of your dinners, that you simply eat fruit by itself and not as a dessert after a starch or protein meal. It recommends that you eat vegetables with protein and vegetables with starch, but eat your fruits alone. Breathe fresh air. Naturally, we want to breathe fresh air, and the best way I know how to do that in today's world is that you have to buy yourself a good quality air filter for your home, and they even have them for the cars, and I highly recommend that you get one for your car, especially if you live in the city. We need to breathe fresh air that's full of negative ions. What I have in my own home are salt lamps that help to ion, bring negative ions into my home, according to the article I read, 600 times more negative ions as a result of lighting these salt lamps into my home. So I highly recommend salt lamps. Then it says get moderate sunlight. It is recommended that you get sunlight early in the morning within two hours of sunrise. And if you can't catch it then, catch it within two hours of sunset. There's certain rays that are present in between those hours that are negative uh, towards us, but very beneficial if we get our sunlight in the first couple hours of the daytime and last couple of hours before sunset. Drink pure water. Well, this makes sense. How many of us drink muddy water? We have good sense to know that we need to drink pure water, but pure water is not necessarily found in purified water that you buy in bottled uh, containers. We need to make sure that when you test the water that it has minerals in it and that it has not been uh, done with reverse osmosis because reverse osmosis makes the water extremely acid. My tests show that they, uh, the pH value of reverse osmosis water is approximately 5.6 to 6.5 and very, very rarely uh, is it beyond that. So I don't recommend reverse osmosis water, but I do recommend highly spring water and if you can get spring water to your home, that's the way to go. Personally, I buy uh, water from Israel, and it's called Genesis Water, and you can just call me if you care to have some information about that. Of course, we're supposed to get sleep, and it says uh, sleep at least eight hours a day, but I found that when I am doing these five Tibetan rites, I am full of energy and very rarely get eight hours sleep anymore. I generally uh, sleep between four and six hours, and feel fully refreshed as a result of doing the five Tibetan rites. It 
does recommend that you exercise at least three times a week. However, if you do the five Tibetan rites, that's recommended that you do them at least six times a week and taking the one day off, which we do, for the Sabbath. These exercises alone help the vortexes spin and create the life energy force within your body. So minimally, if you're doing the five Tibetan rites, it is recommended you do them six times a day, excuse me, six times a week, and you'll see some benefits. Obviously, you need to keep your body clean. The Essenes used to bathe every day in cool water. What that means basically is just a little bit below temperate, uh, temperate water because you're not to chill your body in any way, nor are you to have excessive heat in any way to your body. And here it recommends that you are to maintain emotional poise at all times. When you're beginning to feel a little bit of anger or impatience or whatever, it suggests that you breathe deeply. Breathe deeply before speaking. <laughs> and you can help maintain emotional poise and keep your emotions under control. As I said earlier, you are to avoid extremes of temperature. And that means, you know, cold air conditioning in your home, as well as excessive heat in the desert. However, natural heat, according to the Essenes, is okay. And natural coolness is okay. The point is, you don't want to drink icy cold drinks or steaming hot beverages. We are in no way to cause any conflict within our body due to extreme temperatures in the beverages that we drink. And of course, it says spend time with family and friends. And one of your best friends, in my opinion, is the God of the universe. Spend time with him in meditation. Spend time with him in prayer. Spend time with him in learning what his word says. According to the Essene Gospels, there's a holy law. And that holy law, if it's obeyed, results in life. And I encourage you to reach out, touch someone with life that you have received due to obedience to the living God and his holy law. So that's the benefits and the recommendations for gaining even more benefits by doing the um, five Tibetan rites. So thank you for listening and may God be with you.